Autumn to My Mother by Jean Starr Untenmeyer. Read for LibriVox.org by Laura Armentrout. How memory cuts away the years, and how clean the picture comes of autumn days brisk and busy, charged with keen sunshine. And you stirred with activity the spirit of those energetic days. There was our back yard, so plain and stripped of green, with even the weeds carefully pulled away from the crooked red bricks that made the walk, and the earth on either side so black. Autumn and dead leaves burning in the sharp air, and winter comforts coming in like a pageant. I shall not forget them. Great jars laden with the raw green of pickles, standing in a solemn row across the back of the porch, exhaling the pungent dill. And in the very center of the yard, you, tending the great ketchup kettle of gleaming copper, where fat red tomatoes bobbed up and down like jolly monks in a drunken dance. And there were bland banks of cabbages that came in by the wagon load, soon to be cut into delicate ribbons, only to be crushed by the heavy wooden stompers. Such feathery whiteness, to come to kraut. And after there were grapes that hid their brightness under a gray dusk, then gushed thrilling purple blood over the fire, and enameled crab apples that tricked with their fragrance, but were bitter to taste. And there were spicy plums and ill-shaped quinces, and long string beans floating in pans of clear water, like slim green fishes. And there was fish itself, salted silver herring from the city. And you moved among these mysteries, absorbed and smiling and sure, stirring, tasting, measuring, with the precision of a ritual. I like to think of you in your years of power, you now so shaken and so powerless, high priestess of your home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.